Booyah, guys! Welcome back to another episode. If you can't handle the heat, it's your boy G Swizz with my boy Jokesy. Say what's up, Jokesy. What's up, Jokesy? <laughs> oh, that is I true. I did ask you to say that. You got me there. Ooh, these nuts. Sorry. <laughs> got it. <laughs> have you guys? Have you guys? Have you guys seen that children's book? Yes. <laughs> the nuts. Oh I think I said oh, it to you guys. By the way, hi, Micah too. Oh, maybe that was you. Oh, yeah. What's up? Hello. <laughs> Before we get into this, before we get into this, I just want to give a major shout out to our sponsor, Dr. Price's Electrolytes. I got them two here right now. Look at these bad boys. I'll freaking, if you guys use Ad System 20 for 20% off, link in the bio, I will, next podcast, I will just down these without any water. Both of them. I swear He'll to snort God. Them. Freaking it. He'll and, snort and I'm not going to snort them. And I've done it. They are brutal like that. They two are, packs would be not, insane. Dude, yeah, it's hard to do. If that. ten people do That's it, like the cinnamon challenge, you, and you and use the code. Exactly, Joe. We're gonna send Just, people to the hospital. Okay. Doctor Price Electric's gonna send people to the hospital. <laughs> but actually, no, please. No, 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 no. If ten people use the code. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Ten people use this the code. Weekend. We can see the this code. weekend. We can see the code. So far, if we had twelve, a lot of ten order. We see ten orders go through. It's true. Gage will, Gage will snort. Gage will snort it. Oh, next live week. television. Look kind alive. Of. Look alive. Just remember, add a system 20. Again, because it helps support us as well. And you get freaking electrolyted, bro. Learn about it. Also, again, merch. Link in the bio. Help support us again through buy a sick merch. We're all wearing it, right? We're all repping stuff. Um, we got multiple, multiple things in here. So go to the store. Click the link in the bio again. And snack some sick out of system gear, boys and girls. Anyways. This is not a solo dolo episode with the dolos here. As you can see, it's late night for the boys. <laughs> and the, and <laughs> the dolos? <laughs> I've said that many times. I've said that many times. I guess we have We guess we have <laughs> one local hammer hopping on here with Jenna Gabriel from Texas. Oh, out of some athlete. Uh, we're pretty fired up about that. But this actually, oh my gosh, really, this is the first episode we had where we're all over in Europe together because yep. one of us hasn't been on, the other hasn't been, you know what I'm saying? Wow, look at us. Look at us. Who who would have thought? Not me. Well, Paul brought action there. A little meme action. Gage McTweaks in full effect. I'm tweaking out right now. Dude. Gage, Gage could do this so easily for an hour. So, Gage, oh we could just uh, himself. Do you just want to know we why? We could walk out of this room and just let Gage go. <laughs> he, wouldn't, he wouldn't even know we are gone. If we just were to leave right now, he could literally sit here and just talk to himself. He just want to know why I'm so fired up because Dr. Price's vitamins because I use the discount code out of 20, 20% off. That's why I'm so freaking fired up right now. Okay, I want to tell you a story about my team really quick. Really, really quick, really quick. First of all, I had an insane day. I was in Turkey today. I had to leave one of my teammates behind. He's literally in Turkey right now. They didn't speak a lick of Turkish or whatever they speak. He's Russian. Doesn't even speak English. We had... It was the most... I, I have an insane story, but I'm not going to share that yet. I'll share one crazy story. So much. So I don't have a car here, and we have a lunch and we have dinner. And every after every workout or after every dinner, after every practice, we get a ride there. And we it's it's like if I were to walk, it'd be an hour walk. I had to do it before. It's not that bad though. So he goes and he doesn't <laughs> speak any English. This guy doesn't speak any English. So we get in the car. He's like Yorge, give Gage a ride. He's like, I'm like, I'm like. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> I'll tell you what, bro. I am the king of synonyms, bro. I have broken down every possible word so that they understand here. I am so good at making people understand what I'm talking about through hand signals or synonyms <laughs> or pointing or I'd like like I my I I won't even be able to speak English after this season. I'll be like I'll be like going back. I'll be like I. I break senses down to the bare, bare minimum, and then I break it down once again into the just anyways. Yeah. No, totally. You learn communication that way. It's it's, you do. it's fabulous. I had like and no your grammar has to be like opposite, like fit yes. their grammar, and then right. You just right. structure your sentences how they structure theirs, and <laughs> very it gets all, sexy. It gets all <laughs> <laughs> like uh, so this guy, so this guy. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry to cut you off, Mike. Sorry to cut you off. No, that was it. That was it. I'm listening so to your the, story. So this guy's like, he's, he's uh, we're driving. <laughs> so we're driving, and he's like, he's like, yeah, and he's like, doesn't speak very much English, but they, they always from like, you're driving from Turkey. No, no, we're driving. This is this is not the Turkey story. I haven't told you guys that. This is oh, this okay. is. I was just going from practice to our lunch. Okay, okay, okay. And he's like, because they always they talk and then they kind of pause, 
And then I was talking about foods, like cause I have a list of my notes on Bulgarian foods I didn't try. First of all, it's, I actually love it here. The food's amazing here. Um, and we were talking. I was like, and I was like, there's this thing called you guys know gyros, gyros, like Greek. Yeah. Uh, so there's a, so the the Bulgarian Turkish version is called doner, and I want to try it really really bad. And we passed the doner. So I was like, oh, I want to try that really really bad. It's like doner, doner, yes, 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 yes. And he's <laughs> is like, doner like, like, like kebab, kebab. No, yeah. no, yes, it is. Yeah, it, it is. is. I mean, that K-bomb. may be the meat, but not. That's not how they serve it here. It's like serve like a no, 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 K- chicken. It, Micah, it is. Gage yeah, okay, nice. okay, okay, okay. In I Germany, swear it's to God. Cr- Gage. I promise here, you. I'm pretty. In Germany, I don't know. Okay, okay, maybe food. not, but I'm pretty sure it is. Gage, I'll, I'll put my, I'll put money on this. I guarantee you, donor is K-pop. Yeah, I'll crunch the numbers. Okay. Whatever. Okay. okay. So, so I'm going there, and he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah. He's like, number two restaurant. He's like, you need to come to my restaurant. <laughs> like he said something like that. I was like, I was like, what? I was like, what? Because like, like when you hear crazy stuff like this, you think like second think to yourself. <laughs> I'm like, I was like, what your restaurant? <laughs> like, <laughs> oh god, I can't do this. He's like, he's like yes. My restaurant. He's like, I have, a, I live in a. <laughs> <laughs> I had a close my eyes. He's like, I just live in a village outside the city. He's like, I have a restaurant. He's like, I am the cook. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I was like, my, my, I was like, my backup right side is a cook. <laughs> he owns a restaurant. I was like, wait, what? He's like, <laughs> and I talked to the, I was like, I was like, okay. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I talked to the team, I was like, do you guys know Gorgon's a cook? <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah. He's like, he just plays volleyball. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Dude, yeah. <laughs> he goes and he serves, and he has a backward approach, and he just <laughs> thunders <laughs> balls. He's like six foot two, six foot three, back up right side, backwards approach. He just sends this 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 serve my way, and it's a straight knuckleball, like straight at my chest. I was like, what the hell is your serve over there? And then he goes back, and then he cooks at night because he's a sh- because he's a cook for his restaurant. Wait, so he was supposed to drive you to the place that you guys eat meals as a team, and instead he said no. No, no, I wish. He just says, he, I have to co- oh my god, I got snot coming out of my nose. <laughs> he just says, I need to come to his restaurant because he's like, I cook. He's like, he's a cook. Uh, uh, okay. And I'm like, I was like, I was like it was just the, 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 I was like, oh my god. And that was just like the smallest. There's always crazy stuff going on. And like, my, like I said, my, my, my setter last year got kicked out of a game because he slapped the opponent in the face or whatever like that or something. Anyway, it was going to be an insane year. It's going to be crazy. So far, it's lived up the expectation. I'm really excited. Anyways, guys, <laughs> four more snot comes out of my nose. Let's get the Jenna Gabriel on. We are now joined here by Jenna Gabriel, starting setter for the Longhorns of the Texas, o- Texas Austin, yeah? Austin, Texas? Yeah. Okay, just make sure I get that. I know how you guys get about your cities over there. Micah, we can't hear a word you're saying. Austin, Texas. Right. Yeah. Is it wait? What's the what's the per, what's the correct pronunciation for the university? The University of Texas at Austin. So I was right. So I kind of was right. Coming off fresh, fresh off a, uh, fresh off a uh, win versus Minnesota. Congrats on your dub. And now recent OOS athlete. Congratulations, Jenna. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Remember when you were? Uh, remember when you were first part of the show? Or no, we had you on. What was it? A long like a year ago yeah yeah and i was like your first um day in the life like athlete story takeover thing i oh yeah i remember that i remember that mm-hmm. wow that was a while ago um well, well first things first um well 
out of system is coming to this this week's game on Sunday. So we're going to be there kind of getting behind the scenes. So we're excited to show a day in the life along with a couple other things to our fans out there. Um, but one thing we want to kind of get into before we get into anything is we want to kind of hear more about your background. Um, because obviously people, once you get to Texas, I mean, once you get to college, everyone knows who you are. But before then, before the Jenna Gabriel became the Jenna Gabriel, what was kind of life like? Um, first of all, where are, you, where are you from and everything like that? And just kind of give uh, some background information about yourself. Okay. Um, I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, grew up there my whole life. Live in Hawaii Kai. Um, I went to Marino High School, so already from the jump wasn't playing for like the best like high school volleyball teams everything like that and played club for coach Luis and he wasn't ever anybody's favorite either so it's always super fun being a part of that and like being on that side of volleyball um back at home because I I don't know like if, if you're from there you kind of you understand like what comes with with all of that so that that's me I guess what does come with all of that um well, like in high school I absolutely, I absolutely loved Marino like best decision ever to stay there for me um but I mean I went through all four years of varsity volleyball without having a winning record so that was always fun uh, but playing in the islands was always super competitive so it wasn't anything to be that mad about um and then playing for coach Luis growing up he he's something else that guy's he's pretty crazy he's pretty fiery um so for those that don't know Coach Luis. Yeah, okay. Yeah. If you don't know Coach Luis, like, you either love him or you hate him, and you can bounce in between both of them. But at the end of the day, he's probably one of the best coaches you'll ever have. I mean, he basically taught me how to set a ball. So for that, I'm forever grateful to him. Um, but yeah, I don't know. He, he's the type of coach that just pushes you to – a point that you don't think that you can actually reach, especially as like a young athlete. Like I was started playing for him when I was what, like 14 years old and it was off. Like at first it was awful. My sister played for him growing up too. So I kind of knew what I was getting into, but once you're actually in it with him, it's something else. But I mean, now like we're just best friends and we can look back at it and laugh, but growing up is definitely, definitely a little tough. Yes. Very. (laughs) <laughs> my sister played for him as well mm-hmm. and I used to go in there and he'd make me scrimmage him and he's this guy he's such a good setter yeah no like no matter how Dominican Republic yeah he was their national team setter for a little mm-hmm. while um but very um what is the word polarizing Probably yes that's a word. great way to describe it <laughs> but I've always really liked Luis okay how come you ever thought about like transferring to school like for example Obviously, you were skilled enough to go to a better volleyball school. Um, how come you didn't think about transferring? Yeah, so I went to Marino starting in sixth grade, and then eighth grade tested out and um, got into Iolani and Punahou. And I don't know, I just, I just never had any desire. I mean, my dad graduated from Punahou. He's part of their Hall of Fame and everything, and still right. yet, like, I'm just – I'm just like, no, I never want to go there ever. No offense. Buff and blue? <laughs> Buff and blue nation? No, no, everyone has their fit. Definitely put on is a hard place to go sometimes for some people, especially, I don't know. I feel like it's always harder on girls, but put especially can be a little bit harder on the, on the girls. Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like I would have held my own. I don't know. I knew a lot of the you girls. Would have, you would have you held their own. Yeah, because I knew everybody case. there. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could not far. Like, for people that don't know, these schools are yeah. literally as close as schools would probably get. No, literally across the like, street. Literally, but... there's one street in between us. Yeah, like, we would just walk to our games. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly, yeah. We just literally walk, and it's, like, two minutes away. Did you, exactly. Jenna, did you know the coach of Punahou? I went one time. She asked me to come in and practice. Well, I forgot her name, though. She cracked. Like, she freaking was tough coach, on those yeah. girls. Yeah, 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 yeah. The old, yeah, yeah, exactly. I grew up playing beach for her, so like I, okay. I was really close with her and knew her super well and stuff. Yeah. Okay, because she is awesome. I, I, I never really got to watch Marino, but yeah, it's literally direct across the street. It's, uh, a bunch of my teammates used to live like pretty much on your campus. <laughs> oh, that so is we true. Go, we were always over there. Um, but 
Yeah, we're all in awesome. the local high school. The college oh, okay. boys. That's a joke. Really? We're Just because they local. live there. <laughs> Always over at the high school games. Yeah, that's <laughs> weird. Uh, but that's awesome. And so for you, the jump to go to tech. Yeah. Well, first of all, how did she? Re- how did you get recruited by Tech? With no shirt on. <laughs> we just go cheer on the local high school team. For a JV marital game. We're the ball boys. No, we're the ball boys for the. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. No, but I'm so. No, no. I want to. I want to find out how she got to Texas because obviously, all right, what's your actual? Well, what's your Joe listed height? Question. But Joey's gonna skip this though. Okay, yeah, cool. I was gonna. I was. You're right. So, so for what's your actual height? For with listed height versus actual height? Cool. Okay, I'm listed at five eight, um, barefoot, like no shoes on, five six. So what kind of shoes are you wearing? That's two inches. <laughs> That's two Air Maxes. She plays in platforms. Same height, like what I wore last year. It's like that much. Like it's. It really makes a difference. I Is think. that on purpose? They're giving you the yeah. shoes just for you? No, probably not. I don't I know. I was if all, they're like, if they're like, looks like shoes. I'm the only one that wore them. So maybe that was a secret reason behind it. I don't know. Yeah, maybe. Are you, are you one of the smaller people that like to be rounded up? Or you like to be like, you know what? I'm small and round me down as small as possible. Which one? No, I round. I rounded myself up. I told them to put me as 5'8", and they, like, laughed at me. Fair enough. And they're like, we'll do it for you. That's fine. But, like, just know we know that you're not 5'8". Every, fair, year, every year you should go up an inch. Every year. Like, <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Push it. Six foot. <laughs> for a while on, like, our home game, like, with the little posters that they give out or whatever with our schedules on it, I was listed as 6'4 for, like, the longest time. And people would, like, come up to me after games when we were signing autographs and be like, why are you listed at 6'4"? I was like, all right, I am 6'4". So our, our club team always used to list ourselves as tiny, our Hawaii club. And every time we'd show up and everyone's like, what the heck? In the book, we're all, like, 5'4", five, 5'6". Five, Even at 8'7", 5'6", 5'7". Nobody was above six feet. It was so funny. <laughs> So how did you get a uh, how did you get recruited to Texas? I mean, like 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 you said, was it through club? Was it through because I mean, no offense, but it probably wasn't through your high school, Marinal. So how, what was kind of the process like in in uh, the 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 trail like to get to Texas? Yeah, so I was being recruited by some just like smaller schools. I was looking at like LMU. Um, I went on a visit to like Portland State, and then UH came into the picture too, and they offered me a full ride, and then what? You turned down UH? Bro. Uh. <laughs> I had to do it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so I was kind of trying, like, starting to, like, wind down the process and stuff and being like, okay, time to make a decision sooner than later. And then I was at school one day and Luis calls me and, like, I'm literally in class and he taught Spanish, like, at my school so like we're on campus together and he's calling me I'm like why are you calling me so I leave class and he's like hey um I just got off the phone with Jerry Elliott um from Texas and he, he wants you to give him a call and I'm literally sitting there I'm like like Texas like the Longhorns and he was like yeah the Longhorns and I was like you're I literally was like you're lying got up and like went to his classroom like interrupted his whole class and I was like okay you can explain it to me now and um I guess he was just like looking everywhere for like a last minute setter type of deal um, and called Luis because they're like best friends or something. And Luis was just like, I have a setter. Like you should check her out. Like (laughs) set some film. He literally flew like I booked me and my dad booked flights to go on an unofficial visit, like within the next two days. Cause we're like, what, what else are you supposed to do? Like you need to go. And then, um, on his way he was coaching like a u18 team in like thailand or something for usa on the way back to texas he flew through um honolulu and like came to one of my practices and like watched me play and then they like offered me um like within the next like couple weeks and like i was freaking out like trying to write down pros and cons of like between like lmu Texas. Pros. 
<laughs> Texas, like one of the pros was that they were like a Nike school and like the football team. Like that was like two of the biggest things for me. Oh, it was like the only least. con that it wasn't at, it wasn't Hawaii. Like it wasn't on in Hawaii. Is that the only con? No, I think the biggest con was like, the biggest con for me is like, are you sure you want to do that type of thing? Cause like, it's not like I was being recruited by like that group of schools. Like if you're recruited by Texas, like you're also going on visits to Minnesota, Nebraska, Florida, like you're hitting up all those schools. And like, I show up on my official and everybody's like, who is this girl? Like I committed. And like, it's funny now talking to my teammates about it. Cause they were like texting in their group chat that I wasn't in yet. And they're like, who's the girl from Hawaii? Like, what does she, what, what does she even play? Like, who does she even play for type of deal? So like, it was more of like trying to decide if like, I wanted to put myself through that and like figure out if I was going to be weighing over my head type of thing. So were you, were you, uh, that's super cool. So were you super nervous when he came to practice or what? Yeah, I was super nervous because as I got closer to actually coming in, um, Jared was talking to Luis a lot about like what I should be working on in practice that his biggest thing was passing and Uh I was like wait what yeah so I came to switch you yeah so he on the roster like now I'm just listed as a setter but like my freshman year I was a DS setter and so like I was training as a DS like I was getting sure yeah it was it wasn't the greatest news for me to hear but I was like whatever like you just have to like you did it you're you're there now so you might as well get over it and like try to become a libero or something so yeah that part was really weird but so you're at texas right so you're at texas as the ds setter was ever part of you being like like looking around like you said like like you said probably a lot of these girls that you well, definitely most of these girls that you were surrounded with they're like okay texas nebraska Penn State or whoever the big Minnesota, whoever the big names are that they're getting recruited by. And then you're like, yeah, to the here, or like UH or LMU, you know, it was, it's, it was a, it was a tough decision. So whatever party we were like, man, I do not belong here or, and also you're far away from home for sure. Yeah, no, it was awful. I remember um, my freshman. So like my freshman year, I was like only getting into the game as a serving specialist. And I was like, I would much rather not even go in the game and serve than like. I, Gage and I, I, I <laughs> Gage and I feel that. Like, we I, did yeah, the same. I've been at serving set too. It's where you're like, no, like if it, it's it, the first set, I'm still ready. If it's like yeah. fifth set and you're like, I'm like, what on earth are you thinking putting me in? I've been sitting. These guys are in there like. <laughs> And bro, everybody remembers. If you miss, everybody remembers that. Like after that, the game, you're like, I'm the guy who <laughs> they subbed in and missed. Back to the to the substitution zone is the worst thing in the world. When you oh, literally the worst. You stop the whole game. Like <laughs> everyone watches you enter, and it's like this whole thing. And then you go back there, you miss your serve, and you're like, I literally came in for that. And then you walk out, and you have to go down the bench. You're like. Um, Bro, last year in the German final, we had the MVP of the league on our team. He was the best server in the league, too. They subbed me in <laughs> for him in, like, a crucial point. I'm like, everybody's, like, even looks. I was even like, what are you doing? I hadn't played the whole match. Fourth set or something. And I go in, and I just, like, chip a ball with Because <laughs> I'm like, I don't. <laughs> and, I, and I'm like, dude, even the opposite was so mad. I'm like, I, dude, I'd be mad if I was here, too. <laughs> Like, dude that bro, sucks for here? you bro <laughs> so i'm gonna continue continue okay you, yeah. so you got shoved in <laughs> no that's just too funny because i remember like the first game we went to like we went to play at like a tournament in wisconsin and we were playing against wisconsin and we ended up losing that game but my like our assistant coach that calls the serves she looks at me and like she puts this up and i'm like you want me to serve a short serve like i think it was like the fourth set wow. I was like, are you kidding and i missed in like the the side of the of the net like where you strap it against the pole it went Outside right the i was like you can never put me in again like i will oh I, was, like, I don't want to go in ever again so, yeah that was like that was my whole entire like first half of like my freshman season i remember my mom came to visit in like I was a wreck and I was like, mom, I want to go home. Like, I can't do this. Like, why did I even come here? Like a complete wreck. Like she still has never seen me like that to this day. 
Um, and then it was literally that next weekend after she left that like Jarrett had thrown me into the game to set. And then I started from there on after. So like, it was just like the weirdest like turn of events. And like, I never had to pass a ball again. After- so, wait, 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 wow, what a transition. So you're training <laughs> as a DS. <laughs> this, and he put you in as a setter without a lot of training. Okay, yeah, so I was like we do this thing where you have like your positional training whatever like ds's would be before practice setters would be after practice so i'd be like staying for those and like i would get like i would still get some reps like setting on like the b side and everything but like nothing like too crazy like i was still like mainly being focused on as a ds and then yeah like he just literally just threw me into a game one night we ended up like like, a big game or was it like where he's like trying to rest people or he was like trying to win the game because it wasn't going well. Yeah, I know he was trying to win the game. So it was against TCU. So it was like in yeah. college at home and like was just like looked down the bench. He was like, shut up, go. And I was like, um, okay. For what? Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We're not serving though, coach. <laughs> I literally asked him, I was like, Am I serving? And he's like, No, go set. And I was like, Okay, like, thanks. Yeah, I don't know. We ended up winning, so. And then after that, you you started the next game, and then started the next game, and then you were the starter. Yeah. So wow. inspirational. That was your freshman year. Yeah, it was. Wow. So you've been what? Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it. What year are you? Junior. Uh, yeah. So like, I'm a senior, but like, I'm a junior. Wait. I think, so wait. I think they're relisting me as a junior. So because of the COVID year, you got one back. Yeah. Okay, got you. You gonna use it? As of right now, yes. I don't know. Like it's hard to say. Yeah. Let me tell you this. You want to play pro? Don't worry about that. Yet. Yeah, I do. Just don't worry okay. about that. Yet. You should yeah, win. I, I just have to take it one step at a time. If you win, if you game. win, you should exactly walk out. just boom. Exactly. Walk, like, exactly. Win and walk out. Don't Bingo. Win and Ooh, that's walk what out. I did. Like, thanks guys now that I'm, I'm leaving see you that was true yeah, I started my when you win another one. hey see that's my thing what if i win this year everybody okay but, but who's graduating but who's graduating is logan graduating is logan no. graduating if, the, if that girl's graduating then i did that's <laughs> <laughs> right now okay mm, interesting i don't know when money when You're, there's a possibility you, of money in there if yeah. they're like, ooh. If she balls okay. out, player, if she if she gets player of the year. If not, if you don't get player of the year, then we want her to get player of the year. <laughs> then, All right. Then, then, uh, then she's going to get a nice contract and she'll be gone. And then you should go because that's kind of your money maker right there. She's What are you guys good. doing she, right now? What is this? What this do you mean? Baller. I know. This, is, this is, is a business conversation. What do you mean? <laughs> We're just no, thinking the best possibility for our system really athlete. athlete. But of course not. Yeah, it all matters if you guys win for sure. When you guys win. Yeah, exactly. When you win. Should we talk? Exactly. Should we should we talk about that a little last year? Should we talk about last year a little or no? I have one question. You can talk I have about one that. Question. Yeah. That? We've all been we've all been there. Let me point that out. We've all been there. I just okay. there's one there's there's one thing I would say that rubbed me the wrong way. I had a question about this. And I don't know if you've been asked this. Probably have. When I was watching the game, I turn on the game, right? They're going through stuff. Player intros. They go, you do the player intro. But the number yeah. one thing that, that, that I was like, ooh, about was you go, and I don't know if this is your, your idea or whose idea. And they're like, you're like, hey, my name is Jet. And you're like, actually, you're right now who I am. And from that point on, I was like, this is not looking good for Texas Longhorns right now. Not my we idea. Can, we, can you give the people, because people have asked us about it, and we're like, I don't know what happened. I don't know. So we need the context. We need the incredible details of what went on behind the scenes there. Okay. Media guy comes to me. He's like, hey, Jenna, I have to ask you something. I'm like, yeah, what's up? It's like they want us to make our own player intros. And like, I want you to be in charge of it. I was like, I'm not writing something to say. Like, I don't, I don't have enough, like enough mental capacity to do that right now. And he's like, no, no, no. Like, I just want you to come up with like, I can't, like, I helped come up with like all the nicknames of everybody, but that, that was it. 
Yeah. So he wrote the script. Yeah. What did you think when you read it? I read it and I was like, Adam, are you kidding? And he's like, no. And I'm like, I, I can't do that. I literally can't. Like, there's just no way. And he's like, no, no, no. Like, I need, like, we need you to do it. Like, everybody love it. I'm like, what if we lose? And then he's like, <laughs> Um, oh and, god and I thought we weren't gonna end up doing it because like I don't know we were like late doing something or something and I was like I literally told him I was like I'm sorry if we don't get around to it but, like I'm just like I'm really not concerned with it too much at this point and he's like no yeah it's totally fine and then like after practice one day like we went and got it done and I was like okay and I didn't like I didn't really necessarily realize like where it was gonna go either so there's that part of it Right. Um, yeah. that part where you're like, oh, that that we just shot like two months ago was for this. Like, I would have not. Done that yeah. Before. No, I had like texts. I had texts from people like later on about it, and I was like, oh my gosh. And then like, I never, I didn't rewatch the game for gosh. like two months. No I still have not seen mine. Yeah, I like, could never. I could never. I didn't want to. I didn't want to see it. So how like, many times do you guys get it recommended? I get it recommended because oh, I watch so much volleyball. It still pops, I, it still pops up. I There's never will click on the match. Yeah, no. No. I watched. I watched it once. That was it. You had all the way through, or some of it. Um, I think I stopped like midway. Dang, that's probably fourth, on the fourth set. I stopped I, midway the fourth set. I've opened it. I've opened it probably like five times, and have never watched like two points in a row. Oh God! See, my thing though is that like looking back at it, like you go and look at the stats, like you go and look at the box score. Like if you just look at our stats first, you're like, oh, wow, they balled out. They had a great game. And then you go and look at Kentucky stats and you're like, holy crap. Like, like they played out of their minds. So, like looking back at it, like it sucks that we lost at the same time. Like what makes it worse is that like, we still weren't that mad about how we played. Like they were just that, right, right, they were right, just right. that good. Yeah. Right, 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 right. They're pretty solid. I, so I will we- say like, for yeah. Like for us, we had chance and stuff, but Mike is watching that was I'm not I don't want to bring it up, but <laughs> Mike Micah for sure had the toughest one of everyone for sure. Like that the way like literally that was I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it, but it was the dangle. It was the dangle we for had sure. On the ropes, it was literally the carrot we had is the there. On the ropes. <laughs> and I felt bad because after the game, they're like, oh, go to the locker room. And then they're handing out the trophies, and I was like, and they said my like the second place trophies, which I didn't know, like five or six of us didn't know that we were gonna do that. And they're like Micah blank, and like nobody's there to get the trophy. And it like was such a, and I'm like, dude, I wasn't even that, like I would have gone, I just didn't know. And everyone's like, oh, like I had probably no, nah, not like yours, but people are like, oh wow, you're like you're not gonna be a good sport and like take your trophy, yeah. and I'm like. No, I would freaking guarantee would. My dad would freaking beat my ass if I if I wasn't there. But I just didn't know. Yeah. But wow, we had those. Yeah. Anyways. So all right, one last question about. So when you got people texting you about the intro, did they were they like hating on you or what would they say? Oh, they're just wondering. They were literally yeah. like, that was the most Jenna thing that I've ever seen in my life. Like I loved it, and I'm like, thank you. Let's just never talk about it again, though. All right. So do you ever, fit, do you ever obviously like, because if you follow Texas Longhorns, you guys have phenomenal media, but I was, but do you ever feel like you have a bigger target on your back? Cause I would say that you're the poster child of the Texas media. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. Don't it's true. It's true. You're on there the most yeah. you're on there given the good, the juiciest content. So do you feel that people hate you that they don't even know you because of that? Yeah, probably. I think it comes with playing for Texas too. Like, yeah, that's true it's it's so weird like now being here for like my fourth year and like now I actually feel like like this sounds so corny but like now I actually feel like a longhorn type of deal Mm -hmm. and so you just like feel it more you see it more and like I don't know like if you play here like people just hate you for (laughs) no reason whatsoever it doesn't it doesn't matter if they're just like from Texas like and they just like they like A&M so they don't like like ut it doesn't matter like people are so mean like it's ridiculous like the dms i'll get the people oh, yeah. my pictures I'm like why are you this upset like I'm <laughs> upset. 
women's volleyball and you are this upset like please stop it's so weird imagine I, I just thought of this I started cracking myself up imagine you're like the like the poster child for like the worst team <laughs> you have really good content you're like what's up guys let's go to get our first win oh and what are you just like <laughs> But you're not in their situation. You guys are really, really good. I'm sorry. Anyway, they're number one. Gonna... They're the exact opposite. They're number one. Yeah, exactly. I just... <laughs> How do you get this bread, boys? Get it... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just think I'm funny. That means it's like really good editing, just the worst place. List of scores at the end. 25-3, 25-4. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, Joe, let's get into the absolute math like, before I just lose my – it's getting late here. My mind well, – Really quickly, yeah, I know. We, we've we kept Jenna go- for a while here. Do you have practice later? No, they – we were supposed to have practice, like, fresh off the plane. We canceled it. No. Okay, good. Practice uh, off the plane. Directly to it? Yeah. Like, get on oh. the bus, off the plane, go to the facility, practice, and then go home. And I was like, are you kidding? Yeah, it, big 12 mandates you guys charter everywhere yeah no no are we we usually charter um we'll charter during regular season and postseason but uh preseason we usually just fly commercial and how does we only work? fly first class how does a charter work how big um, is the plane? it's not it's not too big like it's it's yeah. like the perfect size for like our team but like we just um pull up to this like it's so nice it's so nice like this really nice little private airport and like just show them our ids and like give them our bags and they put them on like the like those hotel cart thingies and they take it to the plane and we just go walk on a red carpet it's not the main airport it's a whole different airport yeah it's a whole different airport we can just drive there leave our cars there and everything and how would you say it's like a 30 seater or yeah probably around a 30 seater I Man, think that's so sick. that's so sick. Yeah, it's it's so nice. Like we're very we're really spoiled with it. Like it makes it makes such a big difference. Like honestly, oh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. That's crazy nice. Well, Jenna, we want to get into. Everybody knows right now who follows us that you are one of the athletes that we chose from the beginning. We're like as soon as the whole NIL stuff came out, we talked about this on the podcast. We wanted to have some repre- uh, athletes that represented us and represented kind of what we're about and what we always enjoy about the game of volleyball, about athletes. And that's why we wanted you to kind of tell your story today, because we think everything about you represents what we love about the sport of volleyball and the type of players that we like watching and the stories that we like hearing about. So that's what the out of system athletes kind of all about. We, and we want to expand that kind of part of our business in a way. Um, And you guys are kind of, I don't know if pilot's the right word, but you guys are kind of our first athletes ever, and we uh and we want to do as much as we can to support you guys. That's why this weekend um we're gonna have a couple people at the University of Texas Stanford match. Jake McSlunks, everybody's favorite. Jenna, you're gonna get to meet Jake McSlunks. Um, everybody loves Jake McSlunks. Everybody loves Jake McSlunks. He is so, he is like probably the favorite of the group. For sure. Everybody loves this guy. He's yeah. awesome, he's phenomenal. And Faina Zhang, she's freaking stud too. You're gonna need the backbone of uh, yeah. the. Uh, Faina is the backbone. She More she than, keeps us in line. She's the mom. The yeah. And so that's why uh, we want to get you on here today too. So we're super stoked, Jenna, um, and we are excited to get some content this weekend from you. We're excited to be in any way we can uh, kind of help you out and. We think that you guys are going to have a freaking awesome season that you're going to ball out this year. And we uh, we're excited to watch. So I know all the out of system people will be following. We'll be making sure to get everybody to your matches. We want to be, we'll be sitting there for the national championship too. We'll have a team ready for you guys. Where's this year? Where's this year? Columbus. Beautiful. Columbus. Columbus has been been good to gauge. Yeah. Very good. Columbus has been good to gauge. Very (laughs) good to gauge. Good out of system. Great out of system business moves at Columbus. Jenna, do you possibly have you seen any of our vlogs that we've made? Yeah. Do you have one that like stood out to you that or what? Is there anything that we've ever released that you don't like or that you uh, or like the type of stuff that you do like? I don't like. No, I think it's hilarious. Okay. Yeah. We don't no, cross I, any lines. Was it at um, 
Frick, I forget which one it was. I don't know. It wasn't the six man one. It was like a little while ago. It might the have boat been ride. A while maybe. back, maybe. Probably. Yeah. Grass yeah. volleyball. Yeah. And like everybody was just like showing up in the camera talking about you guys. And it was just hilarious. I don't know. I loved it. We uh so that's kind of like this weekend. I know we're gonna yeah, we want to get some of the Texas fans in. So we're expect anybody who's gonna be at the match this weekend that's listening, which is I don't know if anybody in Texas is, is anyone getting it. hammered at the game, DM us. You're gonna get in the <laughs> <Yeah>. video. <laughs> You're getting in the video. That's what we look for. That's what we're looking for to get in the video. We want to get in the I'm telling you, so. the S in Texas, there's like these five people that always show up and they take their shirts off and like paint Texas on their bodies. The S in Texas has been killing it the past two games. Okay. So if you're looking for anybody, it's the S in Texas. There we go. That's our gold mine right there. We're going to see if Jake can we try and touch his nipple life. or something. We should, do, we should ask if that guy would do a day in the life of being the S in, of the Texas. <laughs> that would be an awesome video. Looking up and like, like see what his life's like. <laughs> that would be so what awesome. Do you, what do you eat to prepare for, for something like this? <laughs> Just goes home, just has no life other than looking forward to the next game. Or <laughs> <laughs> he just only. <laughs> my dad actually, but I gotta go work at the paint store. My dad owns. <laughs> practice uh, just before the game, like an hour before, just make sure all of our cheers are right. Oh my just, God. just sneak into the vent, into the vent, so they can just <laughs> above the locker rooms. It's like. Gotta get prepared. Just an absolute creep. I'm kidding. No, that'd be weird. Anyway, ruin the joke there. Sorry about that. Anyway, we're gonna let you go here. I know you get tired. Uh, you got tired. Sure, so tired I am. Damn. What are the um, keys this weekend? What are the keys against Stanford before we um, tune out? I don't. Well, I mean, it's a brand new team for us to to be playing. Hopefully, it's the first time um, I get to be Stanford in my career. That'd be very nice. Um, okay. Yeah. But I don't, I don't know. They're a great defensive team. Like, they can always pass a ball. So probably trying to get them out of system. No pun intended. Um, and and yeah, go from there. Sweet. And set Logan the ball. That's always really good. Yeah. They usually your middles are beasts too. So I, I, you sure guys got to pin. You got to power all over. And uh, but yeah, we're fired up. We're fired up that we can have our team there to record you guys getting the dub. And thank you very much, Jenna. Thank you very much for everything that you do. And you supported from the beginning. We know that you're an OG. So we're we're glad we can we can uh, work with you in in some facet. And we're excited to see where the partnership goes. So best of luck, Jenna. Thank you, Jenna. Thank you. Thanks, Jenna. Hook up. The lovely, lovely Jenna Gabriel once again. Well. This is a noob. All right, so what are we? Are we a podcast show? Are we a live podcast? Or are we a are we a YouTube show? Or YouTube show what? on podcast? Because what are you? Why are you asking? This is like this? episode like what forty? Okay, okay. What are you talking the reason about, I bro? all right, listen. What listen. are you doing? Can I? Ha- I have a question. Can I? Can, <laughs> my intros have been just straight fire lately. <laughs> all right, question, question, question. All right, remember because we used to be like, hey, they're like, oh, I used to be in the show, and Joe would be like, well, you were on the the youtube show but you weren't on the podcast but now we're releasing on youtube and spotify gage we're still a, a podcast. podcast we're a podcast gage. still Jesus. a podcast gage okay so joe awesome. rogan podcast is on youtube but it's a podcast whoa that's true he's that's almost awesome. at our level I mean, yeah actually. like we're the same thing us and maybe joe. if he grows his we'll have we might have him on next week now. stay tuned we might have joe on next week <laughs> joey Joe, Joe, I'll shave my head. Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan's coming on. And be <laughs> bald. You actually kind of look like Joe Rogan if you were bald. Really? I have no idea. That's hard to tell. <laughs> well, way to find out there. All right, I'm gonna. I'll be back, right back. <laughs> I don't know what were we talking about. Oh yeah, yeah. Just kidding. No. Um. That was interesting. That's so crazy. Like. I don't think that's like a very common thing where people have just like the number one team and then they have like unranked teams. Very, very, very <laughs> uncommon. Like going after it's like, hmm, should I go to Texas or LMU? <laughs> like, wow, I don't know anyone else that has that broad of a. No, you have it when you're, when you're the best player. You probably have a really broad one, but for only, only Texas, Texas to come after you out of like the top Portland State teams, or Texas. Hmm, it's crazy. Interesting. It's, 
Because when shows she was how, like, it, I was gonna say it shows how things just happen through like luckily through connections a lot of the times. Yeah, yeah. Like her coach knew Jared Elliott, and that's the re- kind of the reason why it happened. Yeah, hundred percent. It's kind it's of- pretty sick. I mean, that her story is like that's like kind of like story, but you like you see that in like movies, but just yeah. how like everything developed. That's super the heck? sick. Yeah, that actually represents like I, I feel like that represents like our brand very well in a way. Well, yeah, and she's it's, undersized. It's, she's like a yeah. gamer. She's a baller. She has some swag Remind, too. Reminds me for the of, media. Reminds you of you guys. So I'm glad I we Makes got sense. to the bottom of that. You already know who I am thing, though. That's one thing that's been, I've been itching. I've been, like, when we're in Texas. That's why you always here. ask yeah. before you, before you, like, start calling people, people out. You, you always, always ask. Because you, you never, never know. know. Oh, no. If some, if some not if, me. I know. Yeah, no, it, I know. I've learned that. I'm an on the spot kind of guy. That's why I like, Joe, if you can't candle the heat, you can get out of the kitchen. That's what I'd like to say to that. That's my response to that. And if I recall correctly, you came up with the name. Yeah, no, I agree. Right, but he's saying like, let's put the correct heat on people. True. <laughs> well, <laughs> temperature, false, shall we? <laughs> can't just be throwing false fires on random people <laughs> for things that ain't actually do. We need to preheat the uh, the, the, the old <laughs> stove before we start cranking it. <laughs> no, nah, man, not me. You don't need I to preheat it. it. You just need to put the correct thing yeah, in the oven. Yeah. <laughs> He's not getting the. He's not getting the. the reference of I like to char boil whatever's in there, baby. <laughs> like a crispy. Yeah, dude. I'm. I, I guess I'm. I'm not like a controversial person, but I'm not afraid. Whether there's a camera, dude. That's the thing. My last year in Hawaii, dude. Because I'd be swearing on the podcast. They'd be interviewing me, and I could like. I was just like, when I get interviewed, my my mind changed to how I talked on camera or the or anything like that. Where I just be like, yeah, I'd be like, oh, what a mind you have. Be like, <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, like, yeah, then that fucking ball. I mean, I was like, I mean, that freaking ball would. <laughs> Wait, really? Oh wow! On live television? Again. Damn it! Sorry, mom, I just swore again. <laughs> On live Damn television, it. you'd do that? No, we'd have to re-record the whole thing though. Oh. <laughs> Okay. I'd say ass and damn though on television without even knowing them. Like like that. Ass, if ass. Would... <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about during the game? Well, I give you. <laughs> oh, no, I'm kidding. I'm not going to get into that. I could oh, have my very, gosh. very raunchy answer to that. No, but yeah, at the end, they have to be. I just see the reporter's face just be like, uh, like oh, wait, I'm Hawaii volleyball. <laughs> That's like, I don't give a damn. They don't care. I'm, I'm going to share some stories about UH when we get here, especially uh, some crazy ones. And here, dude, uh, especially that one that I short, shared in the intro with you guys. Um, but there's going to be more and more stuff. But anyway, out of some athlete again. The athletes that don't have maybe a, an orthodox way of playing, just any way represents out of system as a brand as a whole and just as people. You know, I think that's people who are migrating to. And uh, obviously, the out of some athletes will be growing in the near future here, especially when the guys' season starts. I know a lot of people put in applicants, um, but we want to kind of focus on the girls' season right now, and once guys' season starts, then we start going after the guys. Anyway, guys, again, again, may I repeat for Joe, if you can't handle heat, goddamn kitchen, it's been another episode presented by Apple System.